Well, good day there, boys and girls. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. It is uh, just an absolute beauty of a day here today, if you can believe that. Quite literally the nicest, nicest day of the year. There's just no comparison. So uh, it's really warm today. I wouldn't know the temperature, but definitely the warmest day of the year. Pretty quick, all that'll be unthawed and I can stack her up there. First day of the year, I let the chickens out. Uh, the, the snow took a lot, while to melt um, out of their run there. You see, I only got two out here right now. There's not much for them to eat on quite yet, but they were all out earlier. Uh, just a couple out here there now, guys, but they'll be enjoying that, laying lots of eggs in the nice long day, so it's a real treat, but anyway i guess i do have a touch of a predicament here so you know i'm on my quad here because it's uh, i can't get the truck in here now but i got all this fur here that's gonna go tomorrow see get the lights going in here i gotta haul all this stuff out uh i'll have to get it to my truck and it's gotta be ready for sale too i got caster too so i got i'm gonna have to get like there's quite a few kites in here right so I'm not exactly sure how well I'm gonna get them out. I'm sure it's all not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them all in the same trip, but I gotta get them in my truck and shipped off tomorrow. Otherwise, you know, I missed the deadline. Gotta comb them out too and get them right ready for sale. So we'll have to figure figure that out, guys, but we'll get her done. Okay, there she be, guys. Got her all combed through and stuff. Now there's 46 pelts there. And uh, so that's two more than the last go over, but not quite as good. There's lots of good ones in there, not as a whole all together, not quite as good. I don't qu expect uh, just as much money for them as the other ones, but I'm gonna have to set it on the seat of my quad and we'll make do get her done, hopefully. So I wasn't uh, too worked up about it setting that first group off, you know, um, I wasn't too worried about anything, but now Sending the second group, there's still so much uncertainty how that auction's gonna go uh, coming up on the 19th and then like my first group hasn't sold yet and, and now this group I'm sending off two still really not knowing much. Starting to feel a bit because a lot of work went into all those pelts, you know. This should be fun, eh guys? I'm gonna haul these 34 like this somehow, hold on the side of her, then come back for the pooch. The other 12 and all my other shit, and that'll work good. You see, the problem this time of the year, there's always that bit of wind, and even how subtle, like even the slightest gust, you know, that I can't even pick up, it totally buggers up the audio on the camera, and it just drives me mad. So, have no fear though anyways, we're gonna be working inside today, and I'm actually quite excited about what we're doing here today. You see, this this pile of shit here has been an afterthought for a considerable period of time, but now I'm gonna try and prioritize it a bit. There's a lot of lumber here that's no good, uh, and there's a lot I wanna use up. So I was looking for projects that I could do to use that up, and then a project came up uh, that we're doing today that works nice to use a lot of the smaller size pieces like I have in this pile, and we're just gonna work away at sorting away at this. But I'm really quite excited about this. So what I'm wanting to do here, guys, is set up a nice wooden outdoor chair here and set it right there and and then i can look out here at morning coffee or when i'm having dinner outside on my fire I have my table here for my dinner and nice view and outside in the fresh air you know i don't want to be inside i want to be outside nice beautiful fresh spring day like man i gotta tell you there's not a better smelling more fresh more pure air than up here in the bush this time of the year in particular it's just so it's one of those things i can't explain if i tried so yeah we're gonna be building that chair with a lot of these kind of materials pieces of this sort and and other things a lot of this stuff like these are useless pieces i'm just gonna burn but there's a lot of pieces in here that'd be quite useful to me so Ones like this as well I think I'm gonna be using and I'm really trying like I've just been dumping stuff in here to be burned too and want to get a lot of this stuff used up here guys so you see guys with all my fur gone all of a sudden there's lots of room for activities uh, I've got a few projects in here I hung up all my cables and stuff so they're out of the road and I should put them stretchers somewhere I don't just want them outside because of the warp and not good so but we got lots of room here set up our chair so yeah I found some sweet little free plans there on the internet and uh, gonna rip here I'm just setting up the the seat on my chair and uh, this is tapered off here I cut 10 degrees into her I'm just following the plan and then we're going like this so gotta find the center of this so it's 22 is 11 and 3 quarters is 10 and a quarter. 
the line, the edge on my left, don't matter too much. And there's no fancy joinery out here, is there? No. <laughs> Forgot my good hammer though, it's in my truck. I was tempted to even get it, like I just love that thing. It's just beautiful hammer. This one, not so much. So. Man, just using up beautiful pieces of lumber that would otherwise have been just totally useless. What I'm doing now, I guess, is cutting legs for this chair. They're only two foot or whatever. So, I'm uh, a little bit, once you start going all the different directions on me, like it, it uh, throws me off. So I got one here for reference, but I'm trying to cut 15 degree angles into both sides of these. Ripping with the speed square here. Cut one into that end, and then also uh, into the top end here as well. My skill saw right here is convenient. Okay, there should be. So that's her leg, and uh, that's how it's gonna sit. And most likely like this, I think. I'll have to recheck, I forget already. So, coming along good. These are super easy. I think it's gonna be a deadly little chair, actually. Um, so, what I'm doing here is setting up the legs. So you can see how that all sits flush and nice, and that's how we're aligning everything. But, the only thing I gotta do here, make sure I get them spaced out far enough. Oh, I gotta mark here where the inside of that board needs to go. So we'll make sure, still got a pivot point there, so on the second one we'll really make sure we're good there. I really just kind of sent it, but... Okay, so those are our legs now, and we have two. And you see they're kind of the inverse of each other, like they're not both the same way. And uh, I guess her chair is going to sit somehow like this high. I've hardly looked at these plans actually. So here we are. Okay guys, so I had to, you know, set it at certain depths uh, to get it to sit. I just got it tacked in there. It was tricky to get lined up everything actually. Well not tricky, but it took me a sec. Because I want, see we sloped off this back, like this back piece is sloped. So we can secure this back piece to line up here. I'll show you in a second. Either I don't mind the look of nails or I don't care. Either way we're sending her. So there's like kind of our chair in there to begin with. Now originally, it's not all put together. I thought, I see the height of this thing and it was like 15 inches. Like, fuck, that is not very big, you know or whatever it is off the ground. But it's pretty good. Not too comfy where it's at, I'll tell you. But now we gotta put our back piece on and try, you know, I got this to line up. And uh, that'll hold it together too. See, it's, it's only held in one place, so it could twist and whatever. So, gonna get her going, guys. So it wanted me to round off the, the top of this here. So I just use this lid to kind of trace that out and uh, now I'm going to do it again. It's hard to trace on this shitty Yeah, it's covered in filth. So And I'll just clamp it to my table here quickly. Now I can round this pretty damn good with this skill saw. You see, I did that with the skills though. If you touch that with sandpaper quick, you get it real good. We'll see how it looks. This takes multiple passes. No, nah, maybe I did better on the first one. I don't know, but here we are. But anyway, that there's pretty good. I might touch that with some sandpaper. Done with the instructions at this point, I'm just giving her back. I put the angle on the bottom, we'll line her up here and there, and then nail her in, I guess, guys. 
So our chair is really starting to take shape here. Uh, we're just gonna put our armrests and our decking on it. Now we wanna get this squared up straight away. You know, once we cut this to the right distance, it'll either pull it in or out and straighten it up and everything will be good. Okay, so I grabbed some of these old 1x12s and I used these to side my cabin, of course. I've just been sitting there too and I figured it'd be good on my chair here, give it a rustic effect, whatever. I'm just trying to use it up and get her done, you know, but it's not gonna take more, much more than one of these. What I'm gonna do is rip them, rip them up and then, and then space them some. So ripping them up in two and three quarter inch pieces and then I get four out of one. And then from there, I'm just eyeballing this, putting a bit of a gap there between. Oh yeah, she's a beauty of a chair. Anyway, should be real pretty good, eh guys? So that's right on. How to safely rip boards apart featuring trap lines and inlet. Uh, just kidding. Don't try that at home, eh? I'm just too impatient to set this up properly. I just rip them. Ha! Get her done, boys. She's dead. There's me. Let's get her done. Okay, my chair is nearly complete. Took a second to think about how I was going to cap it all off, right? Like, got to have those gaps there and I had to shave some off that one. And, oh yeah, she's about done. So we'll get that all in there, armrest and good to go. Okay guys, my chair, oh shit. My chair is still coming along mint here. I'm just going to put the armrest on here and they're just going to go like this here. I measured this out and stuff and uh, I'm quite, I think that's pretty damn good. Set the coffee on there and stuff, you know. But I'm going to want to round this, I think, same way we did with the other thing. And I'll probably do that again, won't I? This is just a uh, lid off a tub of darts there. So, okay, sounds good. about out of nails. Get this all nailed together here. Make sure we're going flush. Yeah, it's pretty mint right on guys. I've got this chair. See, I got these rough planks. I'm not sitting too uh, straight there with the ground. I figure it's mint. Like I really figure it's mint. I got my coffee here probably, porridge here, what a start to the day. Outside, I don't like being inside having breakfast and stuff. I got that big comfy outdoor uh, camping chair, like folding chair. The dog is inhabited down and it's just his, it's just, there's no other way. So, she's pretty right, mint right on guys. I gotta stain it, yet. Those are pretty big uh, armrests on her, but that is so I can, Put shit on there and I think it's deadly. So, finish nailing her in. This is the purpose here, guys. Oh, it's right on. Fourth cup of coffee here of the day, coming in mint. Mint chair too, I'm liking it. Yeah, fourth cup of coffee. Otherwise, we'd be fucked. There's no two ways about it. Not different to any other day too, so. Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna sand this, nothing. I'm just gonna sand it. So, all that's left here is gonna stain it and you guys know what I'm up to eh? So it's diesel and used oil and it works great. The only thing about doing this, right, is that it takes a while to like, you know, fully dry out and, and cure or what have you. So you won't be sitting on the chair anytime soon after you do this, give it a day or two. That takes a minute. So I'm just going to be 
staying in this chair right up here you see I got some cardboard laid out and this is gonna stain up different like all this rough cut lumber I used on these this paneling and stuff is gonna stain much darker than the smooth dimensional lumber so it might give a cool effect it might look like shit I couldn't even tell you we'll see how it goes Okay guys, so here's my chair all said and done. Thought it turned out real nice and didn't take long and all scrap materials and stuff. So that is just awesome, every aspect about it. But we'll let it dry out here a bit and then, well, quite a while and then we'll put it back outside in front of my cabin and but that won't be even tomorrow yet, I guess. Gotta finish that. Wanna sort through some of my shit over there. And uh, we'll see what else is in store for us today. We've got quite a bit to do around here. So a couple of things here today that are new. Um, I got this one not too pretty long ago. And uh, I think it's pretty nifty actually. See what I had before was, uh, uh, you know, a hand pump could go either way for fluid transfer and it sucked and then it quit working. It was just a nuisance. This here looks, it, it really just ended up dying on me. So I was like, okay, gave up on that chapter. Now I've got this here, which I think is going to be pretty nifty. So we just got a barb fitting here. Push that line on, but it's a suction gun, right? So you can pull fluid out of something if you need to. Uh, uh, say power steering and you can also use it of course to uh, pump fuel into something hard to reach drain plug or, or not fuel but oil or whatever and uh, that's pretty sweet I also got some felling wedges I thought those would be nifty to have on occasion I want to try them out pretty quick usually then pop which is so simple to knock over I got just send it you know they're not they're big enough you can push them but we'll have to try that i've never actually used a felling wedge before in my life if you can believe that i know how to use it maybe not well but here we are and uh here's the big one i've been putting this off for a minute and i know damn well i probably shouldn't this is one of those things, and you, you, I say one of those things quite often here. What the fuck is on the instructions? Anyway, uh, to buy a fire extinguisher, it's 70 bucks, right? So it's a decent little penny, right? And you're like, you're in there to buy the thing. And you're like, well, might not every... As soon as you need a fire extinguisher and you don't have one, 70 bucks looks pretty good, I tell you. So I'm going to try and get this out of here without sending it. So I got this here fire extinguisher. It's from Kid. Uh, that's a pretty well known in this uh, thing here. These will be high, highly regulated. I'm sure of it. And it's um, ABC, whatever, multi-purpose. I don't fully know like all the letters and stuff, but she's good. But uh, she's gonna work good and do what I need it to do for sure. But. Uh, is that a amount for it then? But anyway, uh, I, I bought this here uh, to have it camp because with all I'm doing and you know, it's just good to have in case. And I'll probably put it upstairs by my bed or under my bed. I'm not sure if this got to be held up or what. I'm clueless actually, friends, to tell you the truth. Um, I guess, can you mount it here or what? They've got the this zip tied here. Um, is that gonna break if I rip on it? What do you think? Is that supposed to be left there? Uh, that'll be good to have if need ever need be, that's for sure. So don't want to light myself on fire. Well guys, check that out. I finally got this ugly prick sorted. Finally, yeah, got it all done. No more firewood left there. That was a big ass pile and I'm glad to get it done because it's not good at sitting where it's at. Now it'll be, you know, drying out real nice you know where it's at how it's at sun shining on it does everything like night and day difference if the sun hits it but you can see like what's been on the ground here by the discoloration leave that on the ground too long that poplar stuff is no good so 
Yeah, I'm set here and I'm set here for a long time. Like depending on summer usage, which I don't have a, as, as good idea in my head how much I go through, like there's two winters worth there, easy. Then I got some leftover stuff there that's still scattered about, but I'll bring that down to my cabin here pretty quick. But you know, like at this point in time, some of it was frozen, so I beat it the fuck out because I wanted to get it done, but pretty quick like it's gonna be really dry around here the way the wind's blowing the sun no rain not long you wouldn't want to be starting fires so it's good to have my butane cooked up and shit so yeah like but then i'll be burning through quite a bit in the summer and then i like i got that much down there to burn through and then this stuff and then hopefully before pretty quick i'll be right into this i want it right ready to go and that my friends will be right on yeah, so that's it for me today, guys. Good day. So nice, it's dried out around here, so I'm not tracking all this ugly shit around because it is ugly shit. See, on my boots, speaking of my boots, I've had these boots a while. They're beauties, actually, because I can't remember the last set of boots that's lasted me uh, a full year. And these are from Ukrainian Tire, of all places. But all last year and then all winter in skinning shack and they're still in pretty mint shape uh, a little bit of separation there it's typical i wear the shit out of them get good use out of them don't have to buy new ones you don't want to be stepping in no puddles over these huh yeah always lots of little cleaning and stuff to do just got to do it as you go and keep caught up with it all this wood here has been there a minute now burn through all of this and this is not great wood over here but it'll burn pick up all them shingles all that shit i'm not doing it today the way but what do you figure fettuccine tonight just letting the cheese melt in there and should be good to go okay guys so what do you figure of my chair hey i figure it's mint yeah i'm happy with it and this is what i'm trying to do the experience here I sit on the front porch drink coffee good start to the day and uh, be nice here if I'm eating dinner outside too. You know, I'm right there. Boom, table, boom, fire, ready to go. Okay, so I didn't level it at all. There's a bit of shimmy there. That was an acceptable amount. Like I'm hardly moving the thing to, you know, that actually turned out well. I'm not gonna bother with that, not a chance, but. I'm just ecstatic about this beauty because I put like nothing into it right down to the very end recyclable materials and shit like right down to the oil stain like all those 20 inch 19 inch pieces of 2x4 like I got a shitload of them I'm never gonna use that's for sure in fact I'm tempted to build more to tell you the truth just to use up them materials and uh, get that pile sorted through you know gonna dust this cup of coffee third of the day and then uh, we'll get after it. Hey Pooch, what are you doing? My boy. So, yep, Cooks is chilling too. I don't think he's gonna be wanting to try and steal this chair, guys, because it's wooden. I don't know if he'd like it as much. I don't think you fit in there, Pooch. You're too big for this here. Ooh, sorry, bud. What do you figure, Pooch? I think you're too, a little bit too big for this one, hey? So, yeah, it wouldn't be as comfy for him, but that's okay because he's got the one inside. I could put one of these inside too, actually, but I'm running low on space with the dog's chair and I don't want to steal his chair on him. He loves that damn thing, hey? Contemplate the day here, see what we're up to. Okay, guys, so this ain't too critical what we're doing here now, um, but I... Probably should have done it straight away, I didn't. I have weather stripping on all my other doors. And workshop, chicken coop, not on this one. When it's really cold, you can feel like the draft a bit coming in off the crack on this door. And uh, yeah, so this is just real simple weather strip. It's the same stuff I have on my other two buildings, but it costs you 25 bucks to get the whole kit two side pieces in the top and I think there's screws for this yeah there is we're just gonna cut it and uh, line it right up on you see this wooden door stock I have around here so that should work pretty good we'll just measure cut it and screw it right in 
I don't know where my tin snips are, which is surprising, really. So, not the best tool for the job, but I just cut her. See, we didn't get the cleanest cut, no matter. So, just want to line it up right with, uh, you know, like, right like that. Just right up against the door as it closes there. And uh, get a nice, you know, tight enough seal there when she closes. So, and then that'll just seal it up better. Like, this door is not insulated, so it wouldn't be terrible energy efficient. But we have no issue keeping that cabin warm, I'll tell you that much, you know. Like, just the beauty that way. I love that chair. So we'll uh, use these color match screws they sent us and, you know, uh, put them in all the provided slot. And then uh, the, for the top is also real, just simple. We just cut one and, you know, butt it up with the edges and should be good to go. Okay, guys, so I got all that done there now and it don't look too half bad either. Quick, easy project. Okay guys, so I'm building two more chairs. Why? I don't know. I felt like it. So here we are. Um, I just love burning up all this kind of material. Getting her done and, you know, then all this shit here, like I'll just burn it. Like, cause all these kind of pieces are not worth saving. You know, they pile up a hell of a lot faster than you ever use them. I guess we'll work at setting all them up, build exactly the same chair two more times and uh, I'll show you why. <laughs> yeah, it's going a lot easier doing this you know the second and third time over you know we're moving quickly a couple things can do a bit better this is this is one of them putting these on first so it's easier to line everything up so we'll just clamp this in place okay so i'm out of nails so i'm using three inch screws and drilling pilot holes which might even be better for this application actually Well, shit, guys, this chair building thing is getting pretty industrious at this point. But anyway, these are beauty chairs. I'm loving them, and I'm actually having a fair bit of fun here doing this, actually. Okay, guys, so that's all she wrote there now. They're both built. Uh, they're beauty, uh, sturdy. See, like, there's, like, no rock in these either. Maybe even better than the first one, but it all depends where they're sitting, too. But, uh, they're beauty sturdy, look good, cost nothing to make, and I enjoyed doing it, so. All that's left here is staining, which actually takes a fair while, and we gotta get her done here, because it's getting late here. Okay, guys, so I got these two beauties done, and that is right on. Looks like it's about that time, no way, Poochie? I am hungry. So I'm hungry. We'll get right out of here, bud. Burning up all these wood scraps as well. But these things on sale, they're not bad. I wouldn't call them great type thing. Two for six bucks though. Get the oil going in there. We need more than this like big time. Okay, we're getting there now. More like it. Okay, so we'll put the finishing touches on here involving ketchup. We can find the thing here, so. Oh, 
and then potatoes be mint good to go what a beauty meal guys gonna down that here So I'm just moving my chairs down here. They're not fully dried yet, so. Yeah, so here's how I got them set out. This might be in the road, this one. That one would be my main chair. I can put, I like where that one is. I could put the other one over there somewhere. This is stuff I, I have to deal with uh, yet. I just put it there for the winter. Should move it out, actually. This is the, for the truck I gotta put back on. These are just fencing staples. And this is a broken water jug I want to burn, so. Yeah, anyway, that looks pretty right on there too, hey? So, awesome guys. Well, I'm out here exploring, looking at some different things. Just found this shed, it's a fresh one from this year. Not a very big buck, I actually seen this guy. I don't see really all that much for deer around here, but I have to look around, see if the other one's around here. So yeah guys, I, I, I'm i liking this chair, having breakfast on it, you know, it's right on, it's uh, it's pretty comfy too, you know, and I was so, it was such a beauty to use up the materials, the kind of materials we did to build them, and that's a big part of why I built three of them, like there's not a whole, not great reasoning behind it, like, I like have had company up here maybe twice ever, three times if that, so... But I got all these chairs now, anyway, so. <laughs> I thought about putting one of them inside beside Pooch, but I think it's just a little crowded at, at that point. If that chair ever gets so bad, I might consider putting one in here. You could also put one in workshop, I don't think so. Like, they're not too big, but I'm not sure, eh? So, they're definitely coming damn useful over time, though, that's for sure. But uh, I do got to... One thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I was doing a bit of a trial run there on the putting the videos on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, I had told you guys that. I did want to kind of make it clear too that it was a trial run just in, and I knew it might not work out. The thing, my mind kind of changed on that all of a sudden. Like, it's it's hard to predict how that'll go until it all of a sudden you, you try and do it, I find anyway, like there's so many factors. So I tried that, you know, and I had her lined up. I was on my third Wednesday video and I had it right, ready to go. You know, and then that day it's like, oh fuck, I buggered it up. I gotta go fix it. So now I have something wrong in the video. So I have to, you know, start again. So I come back, edit it and um, export it. That takes overnight and then to upload takes two days, hey? A big video like that it's 4k footage so i ha i have to drive all the way out upload or uh, do that so then i was so then i was a couple of, a couple of days behind with that other video and i didn't feel good about it because they told you i'd i'd done it i was gonna do it you know and i didn't want to be uh, letting anybody down there and then and then it became okay in my head i'm like okay i got a stockpile of videos to make sure like always have a video ready to go and a video for the next week and in case something and if there's a big project that takes a long time that is one video or maybe it's it's a lot of you know what i mean and then i was like okay and then all of a sudden i'm thinking more about quantity than anything and that's not good i've been down that path it's it doesn't end well you know when i'm getting too far ahead of myself trying to get all these videos it doesn't work but like my goal is nevertheless the same to get as many um good videos out as possible and to do exciting things in them because like this is what I do is what I film fair sure what I do what I do that I enjoy and is exciting and I'm trying to do you know big things big projects so I'm you know our interests are aligned friends if you do like watching my show appreciate you all but uh, anyway guys that'll be it and all for me today now, I got some more stuff lined up here and we'll have to see how that all goes so thanks for watching guys um, yeah, I hope you don't mind me too bad on the on the Wednesday thing. I'm just gonna be trying to get out videos Like I, I hardly know when they're coming out, you know It's just like just try and get out many and make sure there's never a stretch of too long of time uh, Where they're between videos or something like that Like I don't want to make you wait two weeks and then put three videos out once or some shit like that You know, I'm just trying to do the best I can and hope for the best me and pooch were chilling Won't be long. We're driving in here. She's drying out mint 
there's still um like there's still snow hey i seen guys south sass got hit with a storm we didn't um but you see like once you get underneath this is the kind of time of year i've been fooled by this before because what happens what the fuck am i doing i don't know what happens is like this dries out and it looks so dry but and then in those even in those muddy spots it's like it's dry on the top but there's still a layer of frost underneath once it rains and stuff like she's a goner boy so you can really think of, what do you figure my boy hey hey you're a good boy okay bye oh yes yeah we'll see you guys later thanks for watching